Welcome back. We are going to look at the Eaton PVQ-13 Hydraulic Piston Pump. We will look at its internal parts. How is it inside? What are its parts like? All of this, is courtesy of Practical Hydraulics. Well, let's get started. Let's take a look at the pump and cut. Here we have the main parts that make up the hydraulic pump. We have already the back cover removed. The first thing we can see is the yoke and the servo spring at the bottom. The yoke rocks by two bearings that it has on the sides of the pump, which can be seen from the outside, as we see here. Now we can see the rotating groove that is in its real position against the back cover. It consists of the barrel, the pistons, the retaining plate and the spherical washer. When removing the barrel, we can see the two hydraulic inlet and outlet half moon shaped connections and the rear shaft bearing. We now see the pressure compensator. Also the servo piston, which is responsible for moving the yoke, changing the displacement of the pump. The piston pushes the plate to change its displacement and the spring behind the plate is the one that returns it. Here we see the rotating group that is composed of the parts that normally rotate with the shaft, such as the pistons, the barrel, the spherical washer, the load pins and the retaining plate of the piston heads. Look at the ports on each piston that will mate with the half moon shaped grooves in the back cover of the pump. When removing the pistons with the retaining plate, we can see the spherical washer. The pistons are composed of its cylindrical body and the head or shoe that has a ball joint to be able to tilt. The load pins are being pushed by the spring inside the barrel to keep the piston heads attached to the sliding plate of the yoke and the barrel pushed against the port cover. The function of the retaining plate is to keep the heads pushed against the sliding plate of the oak. Here we have the compensator, and we can see the spool, spring and pressure compensator body. Observe how the body is like on the inside. There is a very small hole inside, where the spool slides and also, the spring cavity, through which the compensator pressure is regulated. We now see the three connections that every compensator has. The pilot pressure to the left, drain to housing to the right, and connection to servo piston in the middle. Now we proceed to the installation of the rotating assembly inside the body of the pump. Note that the pump is lying flat to facilitate assembly. Additionally, the shaft has a spline side that must make the spline in the barrel and spherical washer. Now, we place the pump in a vertical position to proceed to the final assembly, which would consist of placing the paper packaging that this pump carries in the port cover. To prevent the servo piston from falling, we place the cover on the housing in a horizontal position. 
We fit the shaft as well, in the rear bearing. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.